Are you having problems with your frames per second in Minecraft? Well, here are a few tips on how to make those fly sky high. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, Chad Johnson. This is a show that will teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. Today we are answering a viewer email. This comes in and says, Please, Chad, do a video on how to get better FPS. I get around 15 frames per second and need more. Signed, your favorite sub, Daniel. Well, thanks for sending in the email, Daniel. And frame rate uh, is kind of a big problem. If you have a slower computer and you need to make it a lot faster, uh, here are a few tips on what to do. So uh, here we are on a little world, and I'm going to keep my position. Basically, I'll, I'll look around this world just to kind of show it off and load in a, few, a little bit more of it. But this is just a basic world, and this is probably the least lag-inducing world uh, you'll see. And I'm just going to take my character and kind of point him in one direction. And up in the corner, you can see that the game automatically calculates your frames per second. That's that 23, 22 FPS up in the corner. Now our first tip is just to go through your normal game settings and just change a few. You just get to that by hitting escape, go to options and video settings, and here you have a bunch of video settings that you can turn to lower settings so that your game will run faster. First let's change graphics to fast, uh, smooth lighting if you turn it off that will help a lot, clouds go ahead and turn those off, uh, over here on particles turn those to minimal, and then you, uh, your server render, uh, actually I brought that down before, uh, bring it down uh, and that will uh, cause your frames to go a lot faster. So if we hit done, we hit uh, back to game, you can see just by doing that we were at uh, 20, well we're kind of back to 26, we had jumped up to 32 there, we we're at 31. So this will help uh, your game out a lot and, and before um, we can go back, change these settings back to everything that we just had, and I, I want to bring back up this render distance because if your render distance is a big one, and it was already low uh, before, so we'll turn back on smooth lighting to maximum, which is what it was. We'll turn on clouds, and we'll turn particles to all. So hit done, done, and back to game, and you can see that we're back down to the low 20s. <laughs> there we are. There, those were the frames that I was hoping to get. Was uh, uh, 17s and the teens because uh, our emailer had emailed a few times to let us know and he was saying he was getting about 15 frames per second on a uh, single player world and about 5 frames per second on a multiplayer so you can see that this is a bad issue. Now uh, let's take this one step further. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna go and quit the game is do something, uh, install a third party mod called Optifine. I've already installed it on my game. Just go to optifine.net, follow the links there to download it, uh, and uh, it will install a Java, or it'll download a Java, and then use that to install Optifine, and it will show up as a drop down menu in your launcher. So here's the launcher, I've already installed it, and now there's a drop down for Optifine. Let's go ahead and click play on that. So here we are, we're running the exact same world in the exact same, you know, view direction. And just by installing Optifine, we're getting 37 frames, 38 frames, 40 frames a second. Just by installing that mod, what this does is it does a little bit of uh, heavier processing and kind of does some different math than the normal base Minecraft to try to give you uh, a better game experience. It also loads chunks faster. Uh, it'll also render its own capes. There's a whole bunch built into Optifine uh, to help out uh, your game. Now on top of just automatically giving you uh, faster frames per second, when you go into your video settings, uh, you have a lot more settings and you have tooltips. So if you hover over them, it'll give you a lot more information, which is really nice if you're trying to, uh, to really pinpoint what will make your game run faster. Things to, to realize is that now there's these quality settings with lots of different settings like connected textures, I could turn those off, that will uh, raise our frames per second. Smooth biomes we can turn off, uh, you know, just all sorts of absolute, of just tons, De this is in the details tab where you can turn the sky on and off, the sun and moon on and off, if there's little things that you feel will truly boost performance. 
Um, and you can also set your render distance, your frame rate. So if you really don't want to, if you really want to stick it um, at 60 frames per second, you can change your render distance. You can do different types of clouds. Truly, Optifine is the best. A animations is another one if you want to make sure that your fire animations aren't slowing you down. Now, something for all games is, uh, even if you're installing Optifine or not, is actually sound. Uh, sound has to load into your game, and if you're near something that is making a lot of sound, each time it makes that sound, your, your computer has to render it. So turning down or turning off uh, certain blocks, like maybe you're, you live next to a lot of uh, cows, turn off friendly creatures. You can still have sound in your game, but turn off the things that are making lots and lots of noise. There's also some basic things, like if you hide your HUD with F1, that will create a little bit less demand on your computer. Make sure that if you're in a multiplayer server, that uh, you, you, if the more people who are connected to the server, the more your computer has to work. Also, also make sure games and other applications aren't running in the background using up computer resources. Uh, and things like turning off Arrow in, uh, if you're on Windows 7 uh, will also make your computer run a little bit faster. And finally, Minecraft uses Java to render all of the blocks, and Java uses a lot of RAM. So if all else fails, you may have to upgrade the hardware of your computer by installing a little bit more RAM. Uh, and a processor <laughs> upgrade couldn't help as well, but I was trying to cover all the things that you can basically do for free in software. I hope that this has given you a few tips on how to make your Minecraft run a lot faster. If you'd like to subscribe to the show, head on over to youtube.com slash omgcraft for the YouTube version or twit.tv slash omgcraft for the podcast version. If you'd like to send some tips or feedback my way, send that on over to mail at omgcraft.com. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.